hey guys welcome to a new video on the channel in this one we're talking about the new patch my thoughts on the current state of the game uh how i think the patch has played out so far talk about what i've seen other people saying and then a little bit talk about next gen gameplay so next gen gameplay we'll start with that fifa 21 is going to have a ps4 version the PS4 version on PS5 that we've already had since the PS5 launched, and then it's going to have an exclusively PS5 version. So, I've not tried it yet. I'm not sure if I want to or not on the basis of competitive FIFA this year, so the pro scene is going to be on um, the uh, old gen. You can still use the new consoles, but with the old gen version, it's, Xbox has the same as the PlayStation, basically. Um, I don't know yet if I want to try the new gen version out in case it's way different. Let me know in the chat if you've tried the new gen version yet, what you think of it. And if you think I should give it a try. Like, If it's drastically different, it's probably not worth me trying because I don't want to get used to a different version if that makes sense. But it would be cool at the same time to test it. One of the things I've definitely noticed from the screenshots watching people play it is graphically it looks a lot better. And it's got its own like camera angle that looks like an actual football game i can't remember what the camera angle's called i think it might even just be the default one but that looks pretty insane to be honest so um yeah i mean that's pretty cool lift the mic up a bit i've been talking about this mic a bit in my videos um before and on stream but i think the audio quality's got quite a bit better with this mic what do you guys think if you're new to the channel does the audio quality sound okay to you if you're a regular does it sound good as well or does it sound better either than before? I'm trying to always make the content the best it can be. Um, talking about the new patch, though, um, this is a game I was playing on the new patch. I've played a couple of games with my proper team. Um, this this game that you see here, and most of what I've played so far, I'm not going to lie, has been on um, the friendlies. I'm trying to get the De La Feu objective. I'm like halfway there. I'm going to be streaming like quarter past, half past eight tonight. Um, UK time so come tune in if you want to see me play live I'll be grinding this objective may go for the um, new version of uh, Xbox Ugh. I may download the new gen version and try it out I don't know maybe it's worth a go basically though this patch the things it was supposed to fix that was one good thing there actually that I noticed let's watch that back keeper rebounds were supposed to go further that's not something that I really noticed yesterday, but when I've just seen it back on the replay, I'm recording the, my voice cam live as the game's being played. Um, I've already played the game, sorry. This was on my stream yesterday, um, but I've got it in front of me as I'm, I can see it as I'm talking. Um, that was one thing that was supposed to be fixed in the patch, and I don't think I actually saw too many issues with that yesterday. Um, so maybe that is something that's been fixed. Rebounds are pretty annoying on the game when you concede them. Um, I'll be honest, blocks right now, I've not noticed too much difference. <clears throat> I've probably played 10 to 15 games, and I don't think you can ever fully judge a patch on FIFA until maybe at least after you've played a weekend league. That means you've had a full 30 games in the servers, or in the servers, on the servers, and you get a much better experience for the game. Blocks, there was only one time where I thought, that probably wasn't getting blocked. Oh, that probably was getting blocked before. But that could easily just be a random thing that's happened. Um, the blocks are definitely one of the biggest gripes, frustrations I've had with the game this year. They've been very boring to play games sometimes where everyone's just getting block after block after block after block after block. So I'm really hoping that long term we do see this patch make a difference on that. Um, I wasn't playing very well this game, I don't think. It took me a bit of getting used to playing with such a bad team. I don't even have a meta team here. It's just random Serie A players that I've thrown together. Plus, um, I've sub on Eric Cantona, just so I've got someone half decent. Hakimi's up front, just with 94 pace, just because he's quick. Um, but yeah, blocks. I didn't notice a massive difference, so I'm not going to lie. And that is probably the main thing on the patch that people are talking about, or wanted fixing. Another big one, it probably doesn't affect the ma a massive amount of the user base, probably more at the higher end, um, is the step overs. I didn't really notice 
um, the stepovers to feel any worse. The stepovers for me, I feel like that's something that you don't need to play a whole week in League to Test. You, if you know the game, know how skill moves feel, you can kind of see it pretty quick. The stepovers really don't feel any different. Maybe the exit speed is slightly different, but it's pretty much being able to do them quickly at the start, which is what made them OP. Um, so right now, I don't think this patch has done a lot to the stepovers. Whether that affects you or not will probably depend on your skill level. I've, I don't think many people do too many stepovers until you get to the higher ranks anyway. You might not experience many people playing them. Uh, let me know if that's something that you feel affects your game. And obviously, comment on this video. Let me know what your thoughts are on the latest patch. Have you noticed anything? Some people in my stream are coming in saying it's the best the game's been all year. Some were saying they don't even notice anything. Lots of people have lots of different opinions. You might completely disagree with some of the things I'm saying. Um, you might have played more on it. I'm going to be playing a lot on it tonight, like I said. Um, one of the big things that they promised on the patch, well, I don't say promised, but they talked about, so you expect it to be in the game, that I, d I have actually noticed. And like I said, I need a bigger weekend. I've noticed the interceptions are a little bit better. I've been making more interceptions. One of the really annoying things on this game has been when you manually cut a passing lane and your guy just lunges past it. You'll notice as well, this is a bug in the friendly. It says that way. Whoa, whoa. No, you get one point. I'm trying to point at the scoreboard. It says that I'm 2 0 down. You can see it says uh, Zell. Zero, Tam, I don't know what Tam is. Um, Tam's the opposition, apparently. 2-0, but both the goals have been by me, so that's a random bug that needs patching. It's not a big deal, as long as I get the win, which I did. But, um, yeah, they talked about interceptions getting better, and I have actually noticed them. Players did seem to be making a lot more interceptions. Yeah, I just couldn't catch him. I'm not sure. what This guy couldn't finish his dinner, to be honest, man. He had a lot of chances, Um. If he'd taken his chances, could have been a bit of a different game. Yeah, interceptions. When you manually cut a passing lane, you should be rewarded for it, in my opinion. And so far, I am noticing interceptions do seem to be happening a bit more, which for me is a big thing. Like My style of defending a lot of times, putting pressure on, but then trying to step in and make an interception when I feel like I've read the opponent. So if long term, these interceptions are actually better, it's not just the first day of me trying it, that will be good. Anything for me that increases the skill gap without being ridiculous. So like these stepovers, they do increase the skill gap in my opinion, but they're so ridiculous and stupid at times. And if not, if they are defendable, they're very hard to defend. Sometimes they do feel undefendable. I don't want things that increase the skill gap just because they're stupid. And you can just, like La Croquette, um, people was kind of better at it, but it was just stupid on FIFA 19. Um, Increasing interceptions, making them actually better and do the job, that is a good thing in my opinion. So I'm hoping long term that that is something that we'll actually notice. <clears throat> I'll need a full week in League Raid to talk about blocks. When you get into the bad gameplay, people are on drop back. Blocks and how often they happen, I think we'll start to notice more. But for me, it felt quite similar and that's the big part of this patch. Moving forward, the things I'd like to see patched. I still want the pressing fixed. For me, it is currently still broken. It is just too strong. But I don't know how they fix it without making it too easy to keep the ball. So I'm I'm not trying to let EA off the hook there. I just I don't really know what the pro prob problem fix the fix the problem is. Um Keepers, I think, are in an okay place right now. I still think the passing randomly just goes to the wrong spot. I think shooting should be a little bit more consistent. It's not bad, but I still think it's not as consistent as it could be. Um, but the game, I don't know. I feel like it's getting a bit better. I feel like the blocks, if they stay how they are right now, they still need patching to be made um, a little bit be uh, better in the sense of they're not good. They need to make them worse, which will be better for the game. I think pace needs a slight upgrade. Because right now, I'm starting to notice players just aren't getting away from players. It's because everyone has quick defenders now. But if you have 99 pace, someone has 94, you should be able to get away from them if you get into a good position. Um, it just makes it a little bit too easy for people to get away with bad defending. 
Hopefully the gameplay is going to be good this weekend. If David Beckham and Prime Icons come out, which I do think could be happening, I'm not sure we will get good gameplay. I'm not sure what I could have done to defend that goal, by the way. Um, yeah, that's my thoughts on the new patch. So I'll probably do a rundown with some tactics for it on start of next week. Um, I think my current tactics are going to be fine for it, and we'll test them out, but we'll do a patch tactics video next week if they're working quite well. Appreciate you guys. Appreciate the support as always, and hope to see you in my stream later tonight. Have a good one.